Hi, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings, and I wanted to give a mid-year update on our homeschool. So this is our first year homeschooling, and we made it halfway through. So we've done the fall semester, and we are moving into the spring semester. And I wanted to talk just a little bit about some of the changes that we made and what our schedule and routine looks like now. So due to work schedules, we are doing three mornings a week that is four hours a day and then one full day with dad, which isn't necessarily like six to eight hours. It's probably four hours of content, but they just spread it out across the day. Um, on the three days a week that I'm teaching, the three mornings that I'm teaching that are a little bit more structured are uh, we do science and social studies and we do language arts and those all come from moving beyond the page. Um, we also do Spanish and math and at this point the child is completely independent with those because they are online and so that those are generally done actually outside of those four hours um, because you know there may be 15 20 minutes each and the kid can do them on the iPad and, you know, we faded out having to watch that piece. So four hours um, in the mornings, three mornings a week. And then on dad's day, what we do is we cover more science from the Blossom and Root curriculum, art, um, geography and culture from Blossom and Root, and then additional culture or cultural awareness stuff that we've gotten from some subscriptions. Um, on the one other day of the week that neither parent is doing formal school, the child is still responsible for doing math and Spanish. So we are doing that every single day because they are independent with that at that point. Um, and then what we try to do as well as those things, we have our flashcards, which is sort of our like morning work. And for this semester, we have, we still have like a question of the day card. And then we have some uh, like social problem solving questions. A lot of them are around um, school or community type things. So what would you do if your teacher told you to um, stop talking, but you weren't the one talking? I thought that would be really good since we've been out of school for 10 months now. And our general plan is that we'll probably be returning to the neighborhood school in the fall. So. I kind of want to make sure that we're not too out of practice of how do we handle social situations since we haven't had as much practice this year due to the pandemic and stuff. Um, we also are doing cursive because it's our third grade year. So we're working on cursive. We've been doing letters and um, combinations of letters. Now we're working on words and hope to be able to get up to some sentences, maybe even like writing in the journal, but in cursive or answering um, work in cursive. So we'll see where we kind of end up, but that's sort of the trajectory we're on with cursive. And then we're also working through the Word Roots book. I believe I showed that in another video, um, but it is, uh, I like it a lot for, um, uh, language arts, grammar type things. It's sort of showing the roots of the words and then prefixes and suffixes and the vocabulary. And we are almost all the way through the first book. So I'm probably going to order the second book and we'll probably at least work partway through that. I really like it. Um, and maybe that'll be something that we continue to supplement even if we do return to the neighborhood school. The other thing that we're doing is we are continuing some of our handiwork, which is just to continue to work on fine motor skills. Um, my child is left handed. And so we've discovered that, you know, there are just some things that were a little bit more challenging, probably because they just didn't get taught in a left handed friendly way, like cutting things out. We have a pair of left handed scissors now and it's amazing. I just thought my kid was bad at cutting and turns out it's amazing what actual left-handed scissors can do for you so 
um, the handiwork that we're doing um, origami. We, we got a lot of actual origami paper over the holidays for presents. And then we also have a learn to draw the United States. And if we get through that, then we're probably gonna do like learn to draw the world or something. And so it sort of ties in with our geography piece, but the United States, we learned, we had US states flashcards during the first semester during the fall and now we're looking at where they are on the map and we over the holiday break we learned the 50 states that rhyme song so um just kind of tying that in and so hopefully by the end of this year the kid will have a really great understanding of where the states are and um <laughs> what they look like and um more information about them so we're going to kind of continue with that so that is really kind of where we are and what our routine looks like we start with the flash cards then we go to the handiwork and then cursive and word roots and then from there we move into our language arts and then our science slash social studies from moving beyond the page um and then on the day that dad teaches, um, that's where we do all of our blossom and root curriculum. So that is our update. That's kind of what we're planning for this semester. And I think we've got a good rhythm and um, looking forward to how the rest of it's going. Let me know what you have changed or what you're keeping the same, what's working and what you're looking forward to this semester. Thanks.